people might say, well, peaceful civil disobedience, uh, even that will put people off. I don't think it will. I don't think UK and Cut are regarded as, as awful people when you even have the Daily Mail giving them positive coverage because they knew that they're largely uh, small C conservative, lower middle class readers resented the fact that people richer than them weren't paying their taxes. So they had to give them positive coverage. So just because they found an issue, which basically no one sensible or anyone with any basic reason uh, could argue against, then their tactics just helped to drive that issue up the agenda. Uh, and it worked. And that shows how, and we've got to keep talking about this, it is a proud tradition in this country. The gains and rights we have were not given to us by the goodwill and generosity of those above. They were won through the struggle and sacrifice of people from below. And all the gains and rights we have weren't, weren't won just because people did a few A to B marches and voted at general elections. It took place because people took part in peaceful civil disobedience, sometimes not so peaceful. The suffragettes weren't always peaceful and they were demonised as violent anarchists at the time. I mean, they were reviled and, and, and hated by the mainstream media and home secretaries would stand up in the House of Commons and, and, and joke about how they should be allowed to starve to death. They've always been demonised protesters. We've always got to remember that. But history vindicated all of these people and that shows they, that it worked. That you should expect, if you're effective, you should expect to be demonised and attacked, whatever you do. And that means being confident about your tactics, even when you, you, know, you end up with the media just lying about you. And that's a horrible thing when you take part in a protest, you go home, you turn on the TV and it's like you're just looking at a parallel universe. But that is inevitably always going to happen. Taking part in peaceful disobedience is a crucial thing to do. It works, it does work. And you shouldn't fear the consequences of the media demonising you for doing so, because actually you will drive issues up the agenda. Most people think, hang on a minute, I don't think it's people sitting in shops who are the problem here. I think it's the fact that their owners aren't paying taxes when I have to pay my taxes.